We've worked with nearly 3,000 women since Mothers Uncovered started in 2008. They say, oh, well, I don't feel depressed exactly. They don't want to identify themselves with that because they feel they're more than that diagnostic label. Currently, when a woman becomes a mother, uh, the vast majority is seen as just having baby blues with a small number having postnatal depression. Now, that's a very medical, diagnostic, limiting term. And a lot of women feel that they don't identify with it. They feel, I've had a baby. It's a massive change in my life from being a woman to becoming a mother. I would like a word that describes that that doesn't make me feel negative about it. Because there's a lot of stigma and shame and fear about confessing to a health professional that you have a, a, a mental health condition and then the fear that perhaps your baby might be taken away. So the word matrescence was coined nearly 50 years ago by... 1970s, I looked it yes, up, Yes, yeah. anthropologist Dana Raphael. It's got the same suffix as adolescence and she likened it to that. She says it shares with that time a change in body image, hormonal fluctuations and a whole new identity emerging. But when we look at literally the whole world, world knows the word teenager, which was coined maybe in the 40s, early 50s. But matrescence doesn't exist as a, as a term that's known outside of medical circles. And it's, it, why it's important is it because it's not just about the medical condition. It's about a whole celebration of this fact of becoming a mother. Currently, I've got a petition that sits on change.org, which is forward slash support matrescence which is about some of the issues around the identity of new motherhood and the importance of this word. I'm trying to get governmental change to introduce this into the dictionary as a, as a word that's known to support the women that need it the most, which is all mothers. Everyone has a mother or is a mother. It's a really important issue.